why you should stretch your core. Stretching your abs can also relieve stress and tension in the body. When you stretch, there is endorphin, which are natural mood boosters. This can help to reduce feelings of stress and tension, leaving you feeling more relaxed and refreshed. In conclusion, stretching your abs is an important aspect of any fitness routine. It improves range of motion, decreases muscle pain, increases flexibility, improves posture, and relieves stress. Make sure to take the extra five minutes at the end of your workout to stretch your abs and ribs the benefit. So let's get started with the first stretching. You're gonna sit on the floor, easy pose, side bend. The placement of the forearm on the floor as a deeper stretch to the side stretch, opening up more of the side of the back, abdomen, hips, shoulder and arms with the deeper compression and stretch of the respective muscle. Sit with your knee bent and your feet together, flat on the mat, hold into the back of your thigh and lean back slightly. Inhale, lift your chest, pick up your feet and balance on your sitting bones. Exhale, relax into the pose, bring your toes up to the eye line, let go of the back of your leg, draw your shoulder blade toward each other and turn your palm up to the sky in both poses. Engage your abs and lift your chest to keep your lower back from rounding. From a supine position, the upper back rests on the earth with the hip and leg revolved back over the torso, above and beyond the head, toward the earth. The torso is perpendicular to the earth. The legs are fully extended with no bend at the knee as the toe reach for the earth. The hands are either supporting the lower back or extend behind the back on the earth with extended elbow and fingers interlaced as flexibility allow, opening the shoulders, the neck is straight, the chin tucked, do not look to the side as this may injure the neck, the is gaze inward. Begin standing in mountain, shift your weights to one foot and ground down firmly, bend your opposite knee up towards your chest using both hands to hug it in, begin to place your outside hand to the other edge of your foot, as you straighten your floating leg, twist your torso toward the back and extend your opposite arm gaze toward your opposite arm.
Take a wide stance with your toes open, sinking your hips down and bending your knee into a squat. Place one hand behind your head with your elbow out, tilt to your upper body to the right, tapping your right elbow towards your right knee. Repeat on the other side. Add some stretch by extending your opposite arms above your head on each side. Start in a plank position, look straight ahead or challenge your balance by looking up to your fingertips, your ankle, hip and shoulder should be all be in the straight line. Begin in a sitting position, upright with your right leg out straight and your left leg bent, pressing the sole of your left foot into your inner right tight. Place your left hands back behind you on the mat and lift your hip and chest up. Reach your right hands over your head and feel the front side of your body opening and expanding. downward facing dog, one knee is pulled into the chest or to the forehead depending upon your range of flexibility. The belly is pulled up and in, the back is arched in cobra position, the belly is pulled toward the spine and chin is tucked. The gaze is down and slightly forward. 